Alright, for today's video, we're just going to check a new cafe na nakita ko dito sa malapit sa amin. So, who could have thought na that would be the most interesting to do in the most recent days? So, let's just check it out. Let's see. Okay, actually, ito na entrance ng mall, but there's a slight problem for me. It's a bit inconvenient. Kasi recently yan nga naglagay sila ng parking ano parking fee and sobrang mahal ng parking fee nila for what the ano they uh, charge they charge 50 pesos pag pass mo pa lang and ano it's just parang it's just too expensive para sa akin or ano I just, I just don't like it it won't be too far of a walk uh, cafe that I'm going to visit, it's called Dear Joe. Along the way, papunta dun sa coffee shop, there are a lot of interesting signages. Finally, I got to the cafe and got my order. Thank you. Hi, Jack in the house here. Uh, let me just describe the cafe for you. Basically, it's very, very Instagrammable. The aesthetics of the place is very, very nice and it actually gives me a Korean Vibes Cafe feel. I know if tama yun, pero let me just show you the cafe. Taste test. I think this is the second or third time na gagawin ko tong take na to kasi yung unang take sobrang last yung static noise so Alright, already got myself in a place na hindi masyado mainit So yun, um, obviously it's the same yung taste niya is the same with Starbucks with with uh, coffee bean, with coffee project tong Dear Joe kasi I, don't, I think pare-pare sa naman yung last ng mga coffee shop uh, actually, I alam mean, compare if, if ko compare mo ang price, ba? Parang so kay pang ilas na ng coffee ng McDo, yung ice coffee ng McDo. Unless guru na third wave coffee ka, dun na magiging difference yung lasa ng or different yung lasa ng coffee based on sa aesthetic or ambience ng lugar. Obviously, it's it's very you know Instagramable. Yung aesthetic is really good. That is expected sa under Villier Group kasi tong Dear Joe is under. Uh, it's a sister company of Coffee Project, and if you know Coffee Project, they have like the best Instagramable or best aesthetics in terms of coffee shop in the Philippines. Aside from the coffee, let's talk more about this place because I've been here for like 20, 21 years, I think. And in the recent 5 or 10 years, I think dito lang nagkaroon ng parang traction or commercialization dito sa area namin because I mean. Uh, when I was in in high school, wala pa naman tong area na to, itong mga coffee ko. Itong mga coffee places to, itong mga cafe na to, wala pa to. And parang looking looking back, uh, I thought tong area namin is uh, is very boring and then walang potential kasi walang walang wala talagang uh, commercial dito na, walang commercial establishments. There's no banks, there's no uh, isa lang yung yung um, gas station. So, isa lang yung gas station dito and Pag titina ko siya ngayon, ito na, marang meron ng mga new establishments, may mga cafes, may mga new restaurants na sinisimula na LRT. I don't know when, when will it be finished. And I guess where where I want this this video or yung, yung story, nung what I wanted to say is that parang 
even a boring place sa gaya itong area namin kasi yun nga I, I thought this is a very very boring um, location area and parang pagtitingnan mo nga whatever kung kahit ano man boring ang lugar na yan or, or kung nga it's if you look at it as uh, into a person diba parang no matter kahit boring or walang potential yan if something progress kahit kaunti lang yearly in in parang two decades time kagaya na itong lugar na namin you know parang oh may potential pala and I guess no ko gustong iwanan itong video na to na parang oh when I look at itong area namin before it was a very very boring place na parang wala wala alam mo parang puro bahay lang puro mga uh, tirahan lang puro townhouses puro villages and ngayon there's a lot of commercial establishments nga and to to parang correlated to somebody else to a person diba parang if if somebody progress kahit konti lang yearly it will um, you know that person could be could turn into something else na parang oh okay bala So yeah, that's where I just wanted to end this video. Mm, for the moment, ito na yung pinaka-interesting na magagawa ko. So, see you in the next one. Bye!